When I first started TAPS and the focused assessment approach to science skills, I changed my practice to use these science planning booklets as part of any investigation that we did. The booklets have been around for a while, however, TAPS added some colours to them which made them so much more user friendly. When I first took it back to my class, I had an A3 size one which I modelled from the front of the class. We had lots of discussions about variables and things we could change and then the pupils would shout out the answers to me and I would write them down on post-it notes and add them. So this was for rocket mice. So things that we could change, the material of the mouse, the shape of the mouse, the size of the bottle, the size of the mouse, and how hard you press the mouse. This led to lots and lots of discussion and then we thought about things that we could measure or things that we could observe. And again, the pupils came up with lots of answers, lots of discussion, and we added those in with matching coloured post-it notes. How long it's in the air, how high the mouse goes, and how far the mouse goes. A lot of children really love this because they were writing down very little work and for them that was great. It turned science into science and not a writing lesson, not something to gather evidence. From here, the pupils then chose what they were going to change and it was simple as moving those post-it notes over to the next page. So this group chose how hard they're going to push the bottle. And what they were going to do, how high the mouse goes. So what they're going to measure. And as they continued, they moved the remainder of the post-it notes across the page. This is where the colours worked so well. We initially did this as a whole class and then as the children got more confident, we moved on to them doing it and completing the booklets in groups of two or three pupils. These two post-it notes, what we're changing and what we're measuring, then continue their way through the whole of the booklet. Blue on blue, yellow on yellow. That alone helped a lot of children for working out what they were doing, understanding the whole question. And this gave us lots of opportunity to develop our questions. When we change how hard you press the bottle, what will happen to how high the mouse goes? And then children were able to make their prediction. We think that the harder we push the bottle, the further it will go because there will be more pressure on the bottle. These post-it notes move across to the next page and you can see this group have their table of results. When we introduced the science planning books, we also moved away from individual science books for the pupils um, for their science skills work and we created science floor books for our pupils. That way they could continue to work as groups of small groups and we could evidence their work. So I'd take photographs of their lessons. Because we had enough of the booklets for one between two, one between three pupils, I would just go around the groups and take photographs as they were completing they, their work. This made up the science floor books with photographs and the tweets were a real hit where pupils were able to identify which area of science they were working on, what their focused assessment was. And again, for a lot of people, they loved the fact that it just cut down on the amount of writing they were doing. It really moved it away from a writing task to an actual practical science activity. And pupils in the class just absolutely loved their science each week. When we did our string telephones, our assessment focus was conclusions. We 
you can see here that the pupils just had, they carried out the investigation, they used the science booklets, and then they were each given a tweet at the end in which to write down their conclusion. The children became so good at using the booklets that you can see here that this pupil has actually written up his own investigation um, using the layout of the planning booklets.